What's up everybody, today's video, I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing in testing the brand new 2023 Cosima H1 Smart Cordless Wet and Dry Vacuum Cleaner. This is unlike any other vacuum you will see on the market. Get ready to witness its powerful cleaning capabilities. The fact that this mops and sucks at the same time, pure winner for me, and it's not super expensive. It's got automatic pull feature, which means you don't really need to push this vacuum. It will pull you. It's got a 35 minute runtime on a single charge. It's designed for efficiency. It's got a 900 millimeter clean water tank. It deploys electrolysis technology to eliminate the need for detergents, essentially turning any regular tap water into a detergent. The dirty water tank also boasts a 900 mil capacity and there is an LED red light indicator that tells you when to empty the tank. We're gonna get right into this unboxing of this vacuum cleaner and we're gonna put this to the test. So stay tuned for the whole video. What's good everybody? Today we have this smart vacuum cleaner and mop in one. Tosima Smart Cordless Vacuum and Wash H1. Boom. This is the vacuum. Beautiful little box. Let's take a look at what's Features are available, dual stove cleaning system, big dual water tank design, three-in-one efficiency, edge-to-edge -edge cleaning. That's important for us because we have these little tiny sections all around the house. Auto mode, we'll get to that. Suction mode, eco mode, max mode, self-cleaning, child lock. So the great thing about this particular vacuum is that it's pretty much mostly put together. It does definitely has additional accessories. Um, we're gonna get to them in two seconds. So this is your little cleaning brush, hard bristles. You got a screwdriver of some sort, like an Allen key screwdriver. You have a brush holder. Here is your HEPA filter. Your HEPA filter holder. We've got your cleaning brush. AC class two power supply model. In case you lose this, output 26 volts. Do not use other AC adapters on vacuum cleaners because you will damage it. <laughs> I feel like I'm opening up a spaceship. This is your handle. This is your base with charging. The base is nice and thick and it's large. And now for the guest of honor, boom, boom. All right, so here it is. It does not weigh little, that's for sure. The second brush roller, as I said, is located right here. And this is for the cleaning of your floors. Let's go and plug this whole thing in and I'll show you how every one of these features works. Grab your handle at the very bottom. You're gonna note that there are these four little plugs here. They go in right in here. There's only one for it for to go. There's also this little ridge and then there's a piece of plastic there. So that's how you know that this is gonna go in. So basically just force it in, it will click, and then you're done. All right, for step one, let's plug in the AC into the outlet and then connect it to the charging station. Let's take our vacuum cleaner and place it on the charging base. And charging starts. And right away you can see that it actually speaks to you in proper English. Now you can see that it's actually flashing what the battery amount is and we're at 96%. Let's place our brush holders on the side of the charging base. Take your HEPA filter holder as well. And we're gonna put that over here. Now, some people may want to have this mounted on the wall. However, it's gonna be a little tricky for you because the only hole on here is here. So yes, in theory, you could jimmy up some sort of a thick screw that's supported by a two by four and hang this on the wall. But I probably wouldn't recommend it. This is really meant to be a stationary on the floor type of a device. All right guys, so let's go and break every piece of this vacuum apart. So the first thing you wanna do is let's start from the bottom. You've got your roller brush handle that's right over here. Now this can be swapped for a newer one. You are gonna be using the hex key provided to unscrew a couple of screws. Very easy to do it. This here is your brush guard lock. So you press this in, this comes out and then you clean this. Now the quality on this vacuum is insane. And right here you can see there's a lot of very small, tiny silicone grips all throughout. There's a lot of seals, O-rings all around to make sure that all the allergens and any little microbes that you're trying to suck in is not actually gonna go and go back into the atmosphere or whatever the air that you're breathing in. So that's that's the thing about the vacuums that are expensive is they do a better job in actually capturing all the little tiny allergen into their HEPA filters. The stand here, like I said before, it's got attachments, so this holds everything in place. This is your additional HEPA filter over there. The vacuum itself is charged right here. Charging stop. And it turns on when you snap it right in here. These are the charging pins. Very easy. Doesn't, doesn't really require much effort on your part. This will also to make sure that if there's any water, it's gonna seep into the plastic and not all over your floor. On the front, you're gonna find the dirty water tank release button of the dirty water tank holder. And it's right here, it's 900 mil. There's also an additional HEPA filter in here. And right underneath here is your, get this, dirt detection sensor. There's a very 
loose but large o-ring to make sure that none of the allergens and microbes are actually going to go and escape through here and to make sure that the water doesn't actually come out of the vacuum on the back is where you will put your clean water so this is your clean water reservoir it holds 910 mils of water so that you basically just clean it the vacuum is smart enough to actually tell you when you need to go and change it now what i really like about this vacuum is also there's not a lot of like loud clicks whether you're you're moving the handle down whether you're snapping these there's like very nice soft closing features that you don't get annoyed by again a sign of quality you got your soft wheels they are made of rubber not plastic which is also a step up from most vacuum cleaners so this is a dirt monitoring display uh, it goes from blue to red red meaning that it's full so you want to go and empty your reservoir right here now let's take a look at some of the features of this vacuum oh, on the indicator here you've got the led display that's displaying your power the electrolysis is a very cool little feature. So you're gonna go and pour regular tap water into the tank. You press this electrolysis button. Electrolysis refers to converting regular tap water into water that can be used as a disinfectant. So you don't necessarily need to put detergent into this vacuum cleaner. The voice button turns the vacuum cleaner. Voice off. Commands off or on. Voice on. If you press the max mode button when the vacuum is on in eco mode, it's going to enter the maximum cleaning suction and power for about six minutes. If the battery power runs down to 20%, it's going to return to its standard eco mode. And the, finally, the final button here is the self cleaning button. Press the button and it's going to start the electrolysis first. After that, it's going to enter into self cleaning mode automatically. So the entire cleaning time will be about 80 seconds or so. If the battery capacity is less than 20%, you need to go in and charge this first. Now, if you have little kids and you don't want them to play with this stuff, you can go and lock it. There is a child lock on here. To turn a child lock on, you want to go and hold this for three seconds, so the max mode button. And then to exit child mode, you press both of these buttons together or lift the vacuum up because the kid's not going to be able to lift the vacuum. All right, let's move on to the handle. This is where your power buttons are. Now, there's two buttons. The first button is the auto button and water and suction button. So this one's right over here. This one here, this is your power on and off button so to turn it on you hold this for Auto cleaning mode. three seconds and you can hear that it's turning into auto cleaning mode the cool part is that as soon as you move it down it, it turns on and then you lift it up and it stops because remember this is a self-propelled vacuum meaning that you don't even have to push it it actually pulls you uh, but because we have no water it's giving us air so let's go and fill this up with water so lift this lid over here, there's a hole, let's fill it up. Now you don't necessarily need to put detergent into this. The electrolysis process of this vacuum is gonna turn this water into a disinfectant. That's in, and now press this button. You can only turn this on after you fill the water tank. Once that gets to 100%, it's gonna turn your regular clean water here into a disinfected water. And you can see these little, bubble leaf things that are released and again this is going to turn into water into a disinfectant auto cleaning mode, mode. Water, water suction mode and let's go maximum maximum now we're on maximum And you can feel the roller as you're pushing it, doing its thing. All right, let's turn this off. Power off. We're at 62%. Power off. Please put the machine back to the charging station. All right, so let's assume that we're gonna go and listen to the machine. Charging starts. That's how easy. And we can go and just click. Start cleaning starts. And it's going to go and use the electrolysis. Water electrolyzing starts. There you go, and again, it's doing these, this weird thing here. You see that? You can see the dirty water. And once this is done, we're gonna take this out and I'm gonna show you all the dirt that pulled out, even though this place kind of looks clean, right? But yet, we're gonna see what this little vacuum does because our Lucy robot vacuum cleans every day. All right, so that's done. Now, it's doing a brush cleaning so if you picked up a lot of fibers and dirt and whatnot what it's doing it's actually cleaning the brush for you so you don't have to take it off and 
gunk with it or any of that stuff. So that's also good. And it's going to go and put all that dirt into this canister. And because of the plastic base, it's not going to spill all over the place. All right, so let's go and take this out. Now remember, the HEPA filter also does the job. But look at this. This is what we got. Remember, this is clean water, right? These are some little residues on here. This is like a filter for the bigger parts. We're just going to go and wash this. So in a clean house, this is what we picked up. Now let's do a proper test. So let's go and just break all this stuff up because you know, spills are important. How about some rice? Rice will go good, right? It gets spilled all over the place. So what about jam spills, right? So we're gonna go do some wet cleaning. So we're gonna just, all right, so this is, all right, so this is our jam. Let's take some sriracha, let's maintain that up, okay. All right, so we've spilled tons of gunk Wipe the tiles, cereal, water, jam, fruit, rice, and so much other crap. And we're gonna see how this Tassima handles itself because it's a wet and dry vacuum. So let's give it a go. It's already charged. All right, so first one, pretty good. Now let's go and turn on the water suction. So that button is over here. Water suction mode occurs right over here. Picked up the stains nicely. Now how about over here? One pass, two pass. So really, you just need two passes. But as you can see, it cleans it beautifully. Take a look, absolutely clean. And one suggestion, you may want to do this when you know people are not gonna be walking on around for about an hour because it does leave a, a very fine film of water. And if you start walking on it, you're gonna basically have toe prints and footprints. Now I've reviewed a lot of vacuum cleaners and including the robot ones, the handheld ones, uh, push ones. I've never had a self-propelled vacuum cleaner. Definitely the best thing ever. The fact that this mops and sucks at the same time pure winner for me and it's not super expensive and all the smart features and the little LED lights and the self-cleaning mode definitely fits the bill so if you are a person that doesn't like cleaning like me then you definitely want to consider having a two-in-one vacuum and mop however if you have a carpet you probably want to pass on this am I happy with this machine beyond satisfied I never even knew until I saw this on Amazon that it existed so very satisfied customer you may want to consider it if you want to save yourself some time thanks for watching see you guys on the next one